Juliet, and this is my dream friend, Quince. I remember specifically the moment I dressed as a girl for the first time. I was five years old. My sister, she thought it would be a fun idea to do my hair a little bit and, you know, wear a dress. When I saw myself, I was just like, oh my God, I love this. In my family, I have my mom and dad, and I have two older brothers, and then I have my sister, Roxana. And yeah, I'm the baby of the family, so I'm the youngest. Growing up, I never had that confidence to really tell them how I felt inside. And I kind of just always went with the flow with what they wanted me to be and what they wanted me to do. Honestly, I can say I felt like a loser. I kept getting jumped. I was assaulted many times. I wanted to be stronger. And in my mind, being what everyone was saying I should be was that. So I threw out all my clothes that I had that I had bought secretly, my makeup that I had bought secretly. I cut my hair and um, yeah, I just tried to be the most masculine version of myself that I could. I tried to erase the part of me that felt I was in the wrong body, the part of me that wanted to be a woman. I wanted to forget all of that. And I wanted to erase it. For those of you that don't know what a quince is, it's a very traditional Mexican party that they do for women who are turning 15, and that's their introduction into womanhood. I could never communicate that I wanted my own quince, and obviously at a young age, I already understood I'm not gonna have one. Hi, my name is Minerva. I'm mother for Juliet. My name is Eusebio Cosme, and I'm father for Juliet. When I was chico, Tenía muchos problemas en la escuela y él no sabía, yo no sabía por qué él se portaba de esa manera. Varias veces hablé y le dije, soy tu padre, te quiero, dime lo que sientes. When I was coming out to my mom and dad, I was mostly scared. I was like, my mom and dad are going to think it's so weird. They're going to like not want me to be a part of their family anymore. When I finally told them, I was actually surprised. Aww, yeah. I remember my dad literally hugging me. No tenía mucha información acerca de una persona transgénero. Ahora mismo estoy aprendiendo con ella. Como padres, yo les digo, apoyen a sus hijos. No se vayan por el que dirán o el orgullo. Un hijo es un hijo. Y es mi orgullo ver que mi hija Juliet ahora es feliz. When I came out to my sister, it wasn't the reaction I was hoping for. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of already knew. I accidentally bumped into her Instagram. It's honestly my fault too because I had this stuff public. I felt in a way like she was just keeping this big secret from me. Like it hurt me knowing that I didn't know this, and I felt like I almost didn't even know her anymore. At the time, I was very emotional, and our relationship just, you know, went sideways for a while. I actually stopped talking to her for a few months. That really hurt. And it was kind of like, I love you so much. Like, what made you think I wasn't going to accept you? The way I thought about it was like, I can tell all these people, but my family's like the hardest, because obviously I care so much what they think. I only started transitioning a year and like four months ago, so I'm still going through the transition, but it's definitely like a moment for me. You know, quinces are for introduction into womanhood, and for me, it's like I'm starting my life now, and this is my introduction into womanhood. Oh my God, these dresses are like literally so beautiful, and look at this, like, I love this specifically because of the little butterflies. I never got to experience this and just like seeing the little details, like, oh my God. I just love this one too. You know, the funny thing is that my sister wore like a lime green kind of dress. And so this definitely is bringing me back. I did have a quince. It was a fern green dress specifically. I had no speculation at the time that this is like what she wanted. But I do remember her always just being by my side. She was always by my side growing up. I always envisioned myself wearing like a really fluffy dress. She would probably love to have something that would make her look so like, what's the word? Like, Snatched. Snatched, in a way. 
the part that I'm most excited about today is having that dress on, like finally picking the right one and just being like, wow, like I am having my quince moment, the one that I never got to have as a child. I am so like, it feels surreal. It's like, oh my God. I'm trying not to cry. It's so crazy looking at myself right now. I know I'm looking at the woman I was always supposed to be. Like, this is it. Like, I made it and I feel, I don't know, I feel so empowered right now. For Pride Month, my dad made me a flag that represents both my trans identity and my Mexican identity. My Mexican identity is just as important as my trans identity. I had a crown that was bought all the way in Mexico. I want to pass that forward to her. You deserve it. You're queen. Oh my god. I hope she understands and will continue to see how much I support and I love her. Bitch, I missed you, so. I missed you too. <laughs> I know. It was hard not talking and not even like seeing each other. I just want to say I'm sorry for that because I'm just so used to pushing everyone away. It's what I did my whole life. It's what I did to protect myself. So it's like, I'm just so used to running away and pushing everyone away. I'm just happy that I can be myself 100% with you and <laughs> I can't say it enough. I love you so much and I'm just happy you're here with me. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I don't say that enough. And we don't. We I don't know. say it enough to each other. <laughs> El día que, que los conté ese día y me abrazaste y me dijiste que me amas, like, eso fue todo porque significaba todo para mí porque, o sea, si mi papá me apoya, si mi mamá me apoya, es todo lo que necesito. Tú eres mi hija, mi sangre. Como no te iba a apoyar. Ahora estoy feliz. No sabes cuánto. Y quiero que de aquí en adelante sigas estando feliz. Sí. Era. Porque me vas a hacer feliz a mí. Ok. Ok. <laughs> te amo. I think every trans woman should experience this, no matter what age, because this is our introduction to womanhood. So it's not just a quince for 15 year olds, it's for anyone coming to womanhood. I'm just happy I'm here, like this is amazing and my life starts now.